What's up, nerds? Brandon here. I am still Kyle. Still Kyle. Totally Kyle. Um, and we are here to talk about some video games. Uh, most importantly, Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2. Coming out in a couple weeks here. Um, thoughts on... Well, I mean, I guess we can start with Spider-Man. Spider-Man Miles Morales and leading into this. Yeah, so the first Spider-Man was actually shockingly amazing. Right? So, like, such a good game yes beginning to end everything about it outstanding yeah flawless like really nothing about it that i could even complain or pick apart like there's nothing that you sit and you look at and you're like you know what this was a terrible game no it should have gotten game of the year it should have gotten all of the accolades it was arguably one of the best things that the playstation has to offer to this date including its uh well i would say sister project S yeah. yeah like it's spinoff I mean, yeah spinoff not really a mm -hmm. sequel what the miles morales mm -hmm. game which i will say just like the original spider-man mm -hmm. game absolutely outstanding um it was cool because it was the same map mm -hmm. same basic hero but it, he was still an entirely different way to play right and i think that's what really was like oh wow like it's not just a different body you're looking at mm -hmm. it's an entirely different character he swings differently he plays differently and this has me really excited for the new one coming out yeah and that came with the remaster of the original spider-man for the ps5 right? and we were just talking about the remaster mm -hmm. um i played spider-man on the ps4 mm -hmm. uh, most of the games i played on the ps4 allowed me to play them on the ps5 mm -hmm. except for that one mm -hmm. and you were telling me that there was a lot of uh bullshit behind it that i missed that people yeah. were not happy about. so what happened to uh catch you guys up if you don't know they changed the model of peter parker from the original release of the ps4 version in the remaster to kind of look a bit more like tom holland i guess it's not like picture perfect but it's like they made him younger he closer ish looks, yeah he looks much younger and like more of like a teenage spider-man that's kind of figuring it out still opposed to the older like college year one that you kind of started in the one that you're used to yeah i mean right? that's that was something i liked about this game is that like it wasn't exactly an origin mm -hmm. like he is established as spider-man right um but he's still learning and you know growing into the hero we all know and love mm -hmm. uh but uh you know just that story in general was so well done and i, w I didn't realize they made him younger to cash in on the, the yeah the craze now is this i think it was part was it of changed the back movie. no so they're doubling down on it and keeping okay. him that same model in so uh spider-man 2 so if you didn't know that that happened in the remake i'm gonna be like why do you look so <laughs> yeah different? you're gonna be right. so confused I have to YouTube but, something here. Yeah. Uh, so they are keeping him for Spider-Man 2. But what Spider-Man 1 setup was what we're seeing now is Venom. Right? Venom. Yes. And we're also seeing Lizard from what I've seen in the trailers so far. So it me it kind of looks like we're building the Sinister Six out a bit oh. more, even though we had a, all of them in the first game, basically. Well, I mean, Craven looks like the main big bad you're right. dealing with on top of dealing with getting a symbiote. Um, which, as far as like the stories go, layers it back into Norman Osborn because right. we find out at the end of the first one that the symbiote is going to be tied to Harry Osborn, right. who's MIA the whole game because he's secretly sick, trying to get made better by his father. Mm, this um, is true. So in the first game, we saw Electro, we saw Scorpion, uh, Tombstone, Tombstone, we saw Kingpin, Rhino. Saw King. Oh man, that first fight with Kingpin so good too. Yeah. Um, we see Rhino in the DLC for the first one, and then again in the Miles Morales right. one. Um, so we're missing Mysterio, right? We are missing Mysterio. We are missing Vulture. Vul we no, Vul Vulture's in. Vulture is in this. Yeah. Uh, then... So the Sinister Six is. Oh my God! Here we go. Ooh. I know this Ooh. is a real Craven, question. Vulture. Scorpion. Scorpion. Look this up and check me on this. I want to make I sure mean, I'm I mean, I feel like they're correctly. originally Doc Ock. Different. Doc Ock, yep. And then you've got... Sandman. Sandman. Is... Sandman. Can you look this up? I feel like somebody somebody Google the Sinister Six. I've... Don't worry, I got you. I, I'm feeling... I got you. Why did my internet decide to die? I'm trying to... Okay. Because right. I feel like it's originally like the Green Goblin. Green Goblin was not an original Sinister okay. Six. Doc Ock. Okay. Uh-huh. Craven. Yep. 
Vulture. Okay. Sandman. I said Sandman. I think Electro. Mm -hmm. Mysterio. So we got it. We named it. Okay, yeah. So we are close to having a full Sinister Six in here on top of the threats of everything else they're building. Right. So we're getting Venom. Uh, Lizard. Yeah, Lizard. The li Lizard looks so good. Lizard this, looks real good. And then I don't, I'm sure there's more hidden out there. Plus, they extended there were, the city two times. We also, I think they. Oh, added, we're going to we're going to uh, Brooklyn. Yep. So you got Brooklyn now. So it's like they're really scaling up this, I would say, adventure for us in this new one because we can play with what two. Two spider dudes. Two of them. Both spider spider peoples are in this game, <laughs> um, which I honestly thought was really cool. At first, it sounded like a little like convoluted. It sounded yeah. like a lot going on. But like we were saying, the differences between Peter and Miles just to begin with mm -hmm. um, were different enough that it seems like you're going to have to pick like certain Spider-Man for a certain mission. You know? So, from what I've heard thus far, is there will be points where like a certain spider can't do this ability or can't beat this kind of thing. You got so to call in your... kind, of thing, kind of like Lego, right? Star yeah. Wars. Okay. And they flop in and out seamlessly. Okay. So it's pretty quick. Um, and then there's also a um, new skill tree series. Really? Uh, so you can basically build your spiders out completely However different you from want. whatever you want. Yeah. That's so it's cool. now getting into something that's very meticulous and how you like use miles and how you use Peter, because I'm sure you'll have like symbiote, like you could probably lean all the way into the symbiote and then, which is going to be just Peter, right? I don't right. think you get to play as miles. Correct. That. Well, okay. so far, well, as far as we know, you're yeah. right. And then, um, they said, I saw 60 plus suits. Now see, that was the coolest thing to me about the first game was mm -hmm. the amount of skins or mm -hmm. suits or costumes you get. I am a whore for costumes in video games. Like yes. I love to, especially like superheroes. That's the whole point. You mm -hmm. want to use all the different versions they've had. And this one looks like they are really just amping it up. Yeah. You know? So yeah. two standout features are they have what they call suit families, which are basically like suits that kind of look similar is what they are. And then you can combine them and change the colors of each of the families. I saw that some of those are going to like, it, it the customization is is really awesome it looks really good now before before spider-man um i want to say arkham city or arkham knight might have been the biggest map for a superhero video game mm -hmm. this is obviously much larger yeah, like they're scaling it up as far as like they have a wolverine game plan yeah um i was hearing talks of like an iron man game mm -hmm. what do you think like maps like this do for the future of like superhero specific video games my question is is insomniac behind them all and well and if they're not well <laughs> then because i think square enix has a couple of those mm -hmm. and square enix i love but the avengers game was the biggest failure of Ugh. the last, you know, 10 years. So, that I, That's a disappointing yeah. one to talk about because I think everybody had high hopes for that and mm -hmm. it just did and it's being not. removed from the marketplace like today. Oh, they just said like, yeah. you know what? Cut our losses, mm -hmm. call it. And it's it's sad. Mm -hmm. It's it's a bummer. But I mean, I'm hoping that maybe we learn from those disappointments with stuff like this. I mean, do you think it was like the team aspect of that game? I think it's a lot of studio versus what they were trying to create too, right? Where it's like, we're going to dump so much money into this game. We also need to be able to make money. So it became this microtransaction machine for even suits and like all of the oh, things God, that I you hope these want. are microtransactions with this game. Uh, so with the first one, I hope they keep that same system. Mm -hmm. The same system was fine, but that was what the problem with Square's uh, Avengers game was: is the story was really cool, but it was really fast and over with. And then the like replayability yeah. was with your friends is like it wasn't fun, it wasn't enjoyable. The matchmaking was kind of clunky, like. I didn't have as much fun with it as I thought I was going to. I think so, anybody did, yeah. But with that Wolverine game, I do believe that... Uh, who is the studio that I just said? It's uh, Insomniac. Insomniac. Yeah. I do believe that they may be involved, but regardless if they are or not, I have more faith for the Wolverine game than the third one that's over there. I forget what it is. Cause I want to say it is either an Iron Man game or it is like a group 
hero game. The group hero gets yeah. a little little convoluted and clunky. But... Yeah, I would think they can do Wolverine justice. I think they can do it in the same style that they did Spider Man, right? Like they can really like focus on that. Uh, I would say it's like the PlayStation exclusive experience of solo play solo player games. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like mm-hmm. it feels Sony does something with their single player games that makes them feel like really like great in. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but like no, I think you're War, absolutely right. Spider Man, um, what's the other like? I think that's just there? I think that's just a good storytelling. Yeah, I mean, Last of Us was a single player. Mm-hmm. Well, the first one was. Was the second one? Can you? Because there's two people. I don't know. Either way. Yeah, either way. Um, <laughs> no, but I mean, like, I think that just goes back to good storytelling. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the the world that they've built up between Spider Man and Spider Man Miles Morales. Saying that we get a bigger map, saying that you have all these kind of loose. I mean, we're focusing a lot on the stuff Peter's going to be going through, but mm-hmm. I mean, like you still have the fallout of what Miles went through at the end, right? Um, you know, his uncle, mm-hmm. uh, his friend being the villain. Like it was this whole thing, and I don't know if we're going to see elements of that. Maybe some cool DLC, right? Maybe some Prowler, some yeah, you know, that type Maybe of stuff. Maybe we'll stuff get some there. Miles villains, like some Miles ex- exclusive I'd be villains. A okay with that, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. Stoked for this. We'll have to do a, are you, are you getting it? Will you be playing yes. it? Yes. I will too. So we'll have to kind of reconnect once mm-hmm. we uh, get some hours in there and maybe review it a little bit. Absolutely.